Welcome back to Beyond the Sprue, and this week is packed with information, so please watch to the end. First, though, let's have that question. What was the Royal Air Force known as prior to its establishment in 1918? A. The Royal Flying Corps B. The Royal Aeronautical Corps C. The British Air Force or D. The Imperial Air Squadron Answers, as always, at the end of the video. So, kicking off with Tacom's new release of the 135 scale light armoured half track DSD KFZ 250 stroke 251 that's coming with accessories for the exterior and three positions for the tarpaulin uh, and, and a bonus figure all looking very good and that does look like it would make a very nice kit indeed as it says there it's got uh, movable suspension and workable tracks ICM are making new moulds of their Model A standard Phaeton soft top, 1930s American passenger car, and that's in one, two, four scale. Back to Tacom, who have announced a two-in-one Tiger, Lake Tiger and Lake Command, and with a Mikhail Wittmann figure. This kit features Lincoln track lengths and with assembly jig, photo etch parts and a metal barrel and it can be built as a late tiger or in the command version. As well as the jig the kit is coming with PE parts and clear parts of course. Dynamo models are making a 135 scale SA34 type 2 French anti-tank gun in three editions. It comes with French two-tone camo, French three-tone camo and a German panzer grey. Tecum also released in 135 scale an early production model of the Tiger 1 with steel wheels, PE parts, clear parts and a metal bow and G included with this one as well. WIP 3D are making two resin kits, a Fiat 727 half truck and a Breeder 501 truck with 9053 gun. This is in 135 scale. ICMs have announced that the Cossack 2 State Border Guard Service of Ukraine vehicle will be out soon. It's in 135 scale. It comes in five variants, has a bit of photo etch, and uh, looks good. Another interesting kit from ICM is the Krankum Panzerwagen SDKFZ 251, which is in World War II German ambulance with military medical personnel included. The set of armoured personnel carries two figures of combat medics, a figure of a military doctor and a figure of a wounded person, detailed clothing and equipment elements, including special medical pouches and combat medical equipment and stretchers. It can be assembled with an open engine compartment and open rear doors. Paracel miniatures are releasing two sets of figures, one in 4.8 scale and one in 7.2 scale in the North Vietnam series. And these are loading figures for tanks and in 116 scale royal model released a new scale figure depicting a german ss soldier carrying a mp40 in 1350 scale iron shipwrights have announced three new toolings of some submarines the uss cobbler the uss bonita and the uss barracuda FX have re-released their Supermarine Warriors Mark 1 in 148 scale. That's coming with some new markings and looks rather nice. Metallic Details are releasing a 3D printed Blariot Spad S510 and that's in 144 scale. FX have announced they've now released their Armstrong Whitworth Whitley Mark 5 in 172 scale with two new schemes. And ANA models have released some more details of the upcoming Basler BT67 kit. Showing some sprue shots and box art. Mini arts kit of the three French Air Force people, the 7D 28RE Thunderbolt in 148 scale will be coming very soon. The kit includes highly detailed models, open and closed hatches, clear parts and decal sheet with three marking options. Model 3 will be releasing in the middle of April the second edition of the 172 scale Mirage 2000C. Later this month, KP will be releasing four 172 scale editions of the Ansolo SVA9 and 10. 
KP have announced they're returning to 144 scale aircraft and they will release the Gates Learjet 35, the Air Ambulance, and three different schemes being the Swiss Air Ambulance Scheme, Scandinavian Air Ambulance Scheme, and the Air Ambulance Scheme for Luxembourg. SBS model have released in 172 scale the Farman F231 La Luet and the Mango with the oversized belly fuel tank. Available from their web shot, it made the record flight in 1931. It's a resin kit with photo etch parts, decals, and clear resin parts. It's a limited edition of only 80 pieces, so you need to get this from their web shop. FX have released more shots of their upcoming release of the new tooling of the Boeing Chinook HC1. The distinctive bend in the Chinook's rotor blades have been accurately reproduced with their new toolings, which they're showing off with their pictures. It's being depicted in two schemes, the Bravo November being the Falkland Islands and the Granby Desert Storm used in the Gulf War in 91. As always, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Thank you to everybody who has actually done that. And here's the answer to this week's question. So what was the Royal Air Force known as prior to its establishment in 1918? Well, if you said the Royal Flying Corps, you would have been correct. Thank you very much. See you next time.